congratulations on your purchase. To ensure proper installation and uninterrupted performance of your pump, please follow these instructions in conjunction with your installation manual carefully. This is a DIY product. Assembly and installation is required. Assembly is the same for all centrifugal pumps. Demonstration is done on a peripheral pump. What's in the box? Pump, electronic pressure control, also called a CPV, and a manual. The centrifugal pump does not come standard with a CPV like the peripheral and jet pump. A CPV unit has to be purchased separately for the centrifugal pump. Please keep your instruction manual for assembly, installation, fault finding and warranty. Assembly of pump and CPV. Step 1. The CPV needs to be attached to the outlet side of the pump. Remove the protection and dust caps from in and outlet of the pump. Remove the protection and dust caps from in and outlet of the CPV. Apply thread tape liberally to inlet of the CPV to ensure that there's no leakage once assembled. Firmly screw CPV unit into the outlet of the pump. The unit should be hand tight and have a proper seal. Once the CPV is secured onto the pump, the power cables need to be connected to the power box. Step 2. Connect power cables. Unscrew the cap of the power box. The earth cable is the yellow and green cable which gets connected to the bottom connector. The live and neutral cables are the blue and brown cables which get connected to the two top connectors. Remove the grommet from the side of the power box. Push all three cables through the grommet as shown. Slightly release the cable anchor inside the power box and slide the cables underneath. This clip secures the cables and holds them in place, stopping them from being pulled out accidentally. Securely attach earth cable first, yellow and green. Attach neutral cable, blue. Attach live cable, brown. Reattach the grommet hand tight and fasten plate that holds the cables in place. Replace the cap, making sure that all components are in place and cables are inside the box. Make sure that the rubber seal matches properly on the edges of the power box to ensure a watertight seal. Do not over tighten the cap screws. If the plastic box cracks, water will penetrate into the power box and it'll damage your pump. You are now ready to connect your pump to your tank. Assembly of tank to pump connector kit. Always use the recommended connector kit to ensure optimal flow and operation of your pump. Inside the box, you'll find a reducing bush that goes into all standard tank fittings, a barrel nipple, a shut off valve, two male adapters, a plastic pipe, and thread tape. Apply thread tape to the nipple and screw the nipple into the reducing bush. Apply thread tape to the other end of the nipple and screw into the valve. Push the pipe into both male adapters on either side. No thread tape is required for this connection as it's a self-locking and sealing system. This connection will require slight force as it is a tight fit and needs to be secure. Apply thread tape to the male adapter and connect to the valve, making sure to obtain a good seal. Apply thread tape to second male adapter and attach assembled connector kit to the pump inlet. If you need to disconnect the pump from your tank, close the valve and unscrew the connector as shown. Always use the recommended connector kit to connect your pump to the tank as this will ensure optimal flow and operation of the pump. Once installation is complete, connect the three-point plug to your electricity. Make sure that the stop valve is in open position and use the switch to start the pump. Always use a surge protector on any water pump to connect it to the main power outlet.